What makes Mississippi Mills a great place to experience culture? It just is a very uh, warm and welcoming environment for artists. And consequently, it does attract a lot of people to the town uh, because of music series, um, arts exhibitions, um, special events, um, the, the fairs, the things that go on in town. And it is gaining a reputation of being a town that is uh, arts oriented. The arts is a terrific engine economic engine for a town and um, I think this town is really getting into that and uh, so Mississippi Mills is on the right track culturally. It's very inspiring to be in an art, a community where a lot of artists are working full-time. It's a great place to come and see art whether it's at a studio tour or in one of the, the galleries in one of the downtowns uh, because we have such a wide variety of artists everywhere we go whether it's puppets or, or sculpture or painting, there just seems to be this creative energy and all of these people do amazing stuff in a number of different genres. It, it's really impressive. So I tell people, get out here, you can pretty much see anything that you're interested in a single day. Um, I think it's generally the, the, the culture I mean, I think the culture um, feeds off each other. So you've got a painter and an author in the same house. So I think um, they like hanging together, you know, the arts. Our, uh, Mississippi Mills has like lots of authors, from Claudia Smith to uh, Terence Curry, who has a new book out, um, to people I didn't even know were authors in Living in Town, like Leanne Shaw. There's a concentration of, of musicians and artists here, and it's an action, that makes it an attractive uh, yeah, location. It, it builds on its own momentum because there's lots of musicians in the neighborhood. Lots of musicians come to the neighborhood. Right. You're making a record. I can make a record. I got a great drummer, bass player, piano player, singers, guitar players, fiddles, mandolins. There isn't an instrument in you know, there's symphony players in the neighborhood. If I'm making if I'm making a record and I need a cello part, I can call a local guy up and he's gonna bring his cello over here and he's gonna be good. There's a lot of other little towns around here that don't have near as much going on as we do here. We're very fortunate to have a very strong, what I consider to be a very strong and supportive arts community. You throw a show, people show up. Well, it makes it easier to follow your artistic uh, visions because you don't feel like they're, they're odd. Everybody's doing things that um, may or may not be seen as a waste of time in other communities. Like it's perfectly normal to be an artist who makes uh, their living, their money doing something else, but follows their passion as much as they can. I think it is perfectly normal here in Mississippi Mills. You can see down the road that it's it's really going to happen, and it's happening now. It's starting. You can see that. And, um, I think there's a level of integrity here that um, artists can appreciate, um, and it just makes people want to live here.